Good evening, I'm Esteban Reynoso. Thank you so much for joining us. Two people are dead and another is injured after an RV burst into flames early this morning. Investigators say it happened around 5 at the Fryant Trailer Park just below Millerton Lake. CBS 47's Rhett Rodriguez joins us live in the studio with more on how this RV could have caught fire. Rhett. Esteban, the cause of the fire is still under investigation. But fire crews today say that the incident is a reminder that simple household items can quickly turn deadly if not used properly. This is what's left of the RV that went up in flames Saturday morning at the Fryant Trailer Park. Cal Fire and Fresno County Sheriff deputies responded to the call after multiple neighbors called saying flames had spread throughout the RV and threatened nearby buildings. Firefighters quickly put out the flames before it could spread. The two people inside the RV didn't make it out. Initially, they located one person deceased. Uh, after the deputy coroner arrived on scene, and while they were doing more investigation, they located a second deceased person inside. Alan Kelzer with the Fresno County Sheriff's Office says the two victims have been identified, but their names aren't being released to the public until their families are notified. Investigators say a neighbor received minor burns in the fire, but refused treatment. As for what might have started the flames. Although the fire, uh, cause of the fire was undetermined, um, investigators and fire crew members did locate a space heater in the front part of the RV and that was where the initial fire started. Firefighters say although space heaters can provide much needed warmth, they can be dangerous. To stay safe, they say you should plug in heaters directly into the wall rather than plugging them into an extension cord or a power strip. They also say you should have at least three feet of clearance around your space heater to prevent nearby items from catching on fire. And of course, this is a developing story and we'll continue to update you on air and online. Reporting live in the studio tonight, Rhett Rodriguez, CBS 47 Eyewitness News.